Marion Wright Edelman, a famous educator, said, public service is the rent we pay for living. And that's been something that I have lived by most of my life. I believe that service is an honorable deed and something that is cherished by me and, of course, many of my predecessors. I have had the most wonderful life. I grew up in rural southeast Missouri with a mother and father and two brothers. In 2000, I decided to move to South Florida. My parents lived in Naples. My father uh, had Alzheimer's and I wanted to be close to my parents in the last years of my dad's life. 2001, I moved to Wilton Manors. Ever since then, I've been madly in love with the community and committed to making the community a better place to live. I ran for office in 2010 after I served in appointed position as a city commissioner. I was the first out lesbian ever appointed and then elected in Broward County, so I felt like that was just a real nice stepping stone for Broward County. Since that time, I have served from 2010 to 2012. I was reelected in 2012 and reelected two times thereafter. The city of Wilton Manors is just a remarkable community. We are diverse, accepting, and kind, and thoughtful. We are a village of people who care. My ability to serve Wilton Manors is supported by my past service. I have had the wonderful honor of serving as a city commissioner for nine years. In 2020, at the time of the next election, it will be 10 years. I have taken my commitment to serve the public very seriously. I have never missed a regular city commission meeting in actually 12 years, two years more than I've served. I believe that government starts at the local level. I am here to serve people in our municipality. I'm here to answer their questions, listen to their concerns, and regardless of whether or not someone agrees with me, I'm here to be an advocate for what our community wants. As we move into the next years, one of the most critical things that Wilton Manors must address is economic development. We cannot continue to be a three-day-a-week, 12-hour-a-day city and be financially solvent and successful. Now we have to look at what does our future look like? Are we going to have a hotel? Are we going to have a public-private partnership? Are we going to bring in new businesses because we've actually gone out and decided what we wanted to do, who we wanted to ask to come into the city? These are really critical points for our community now. We need to preserve our neighborhoods. We need to preserve our green space, make sure we have environmental incentives, and also make sure that we are able to foster a community of economic diversity and a base of economic diversity that best serves our city. That's going to be our future. Twofold, neighborhoods, economic diversity, and vitality. We are all on board to do this, but I know I'm the person who can lead this fight into the future. After Justin's death and because of the shared common values that we have, I believe that it's the right thing for me to run for mayor. It's a commitment I am ready for. I can continue forward without disruption. Our community is ready for continued healing, continued consensus, and the continued good fortune that we all have for life in Wilton Manors.